don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Let us be a generation that can believe the power of God. That when God says, I can lift you, you believe it. When God says, I can anoint you, you believe it. When God says, I can turn your life around, you believe it. Please hear me. What more do you need to see to know that natural things don't count very much in this realm? You have to be outstanding by an agency that is not human. John 4 48 except ye see miraculous signs you will not believe Jesus himself said it except you see it there is a demonstration of the hand and the might of God that must rest upon us and rest upon our generation why will you write your prayer request if it will not be answered why should you travel I'm aware that some of us have been here, right? A number of people that I ministered to in Abuja followed me here. There are people who have come from all over. There's a pastor, you're the one who came from Ukraine? From Ukraine, all the way. And for heaven's sake, why will you come and watch a man? Am I a, a comedian? This is not an amusement park. Oh, there is a God that sits in heaven. Please hear me. There is a God that sits in heaven that can speak, that can lift, that can turn a man's life around. Shake that unbelief. Shake that unbelief. Get it out of your life and believe that God is able to turn a man's life around. Oh, the overwhelming never tell you one of the major things that I know God is going to be doing tonight is healing the sick there are mysterious diseases that are coming and latching upon people you see people dying for diseases and sicknesses with no name it's, it's like headache but it's not headache it's like chest pain but it's not chest pain it's like asthma but it's not asthma it's like a lump but it's not a lump. It's like a growth, but it's not a growth. Whatever it is, we know it's an oppression of the devil. Please sit down. Let me finish up and then we'll pray. So by the ministry of the anointing, number two, how blessings manifest, the second dimension is by the impartation of wisdom and understanding. The second way that the word becomes flesh is that the Lord by his spirit will impart upon a man the spirit of wisdom and understanding. There are certain results that don't need the supernatural as it were. They just need an awareness of the laws of God and the fortitude to walk in accordance with those principles. There are dimensions that doesn't just need 
an event. The power of God is coming on two people outside. Two people outside. Please bring them here. Two people outside. I started sensing a very mighty grace. Ah, tonight will be a great night of impartation. Please bring them here. Just listen to the word. The Lord will do a quick work. Two people. I see like rain. The rain of the spirit is about to be drenched. For I spoke a word. Please bring them. The Lord is saying, I'm shifting you, both of you, that you are entering a dimension of the favor of God. This is what I'm seeing. You came here to contact the grace that will bring you into a strange realm of favor. And I declare by the spirit of grace that everything that is not of the Christ over your lives and destinies this is miracle service. It must bow to the name and the Lordship of Jesus. Shadow you will light up, mountain you will climb up, coming out to me. three and then we'll pray the third way that the word becomes flesh that possibilities get to you is through the ministry of men 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 Men are God's conduits. They communicate possibilities. Most of the favor that you need is already in the hands of a man. You need the ministry of men. I don't just mean the prophetic ministry of men. You need the giving ministry of men. You need the lifting ministry of men. You need the endorsing ministry of men. Please tonight, let your expectations be high. God will not disappoint you. The word becomes flesh. The word becomes a testimony. When the anointing of the Holy Spirit comes upon that situation, the word becomes a testimony. When you are given spiritual illumination, wisdom, understanding, the fortitude to comprehend spiritual things, then the word becomes flesh. When men are introduced in your life, men are carriers of possibilities, not just spiritual possibilities. There are men that have the wealth to give you. There are men that have the endorsement, the leverage, their credibility is an asset. They can bring it upon your life and turn your life Everything that we seek for in this place tonight comes under these three categories. There are matters that only the anointing can solve tonight. 
there are matters that the quickening of the spirit providing illumination will channel you to solve but there are things that men 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 given by god listen when the man had get beautiful met peter and john he didn't say such as in is in heaven he says such as i have there are things men have please hear me there are things that men have and they can give it there are things that men have and they can give it a man can have a car and give you the key to the car a man can have but you see the things that men have real blessings are not physical when a man gives you anything physical it's not really a blessing it's just a donation real blessings are spiritual all the sons of Abraham he gave them physical gifts but to Isaac he gave him the blessing hallelujah by the grace of God we are going to do a quick walk tonight but I trust God to heal the sick this 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 there is a grace today to to damage all kinds of infirmity Acts chapter 10 and verse 38 how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power and the Bible says he went about doing good and healing all healing all they that were oppressed of the devil tonight you will lift up that report that threat that stands before the God of heaven there are many of us here I believe who are in ministry we may not exactly have needs tonight is also a night of impartation listen an impartation is a transference of spiritual possibilities it can be transferred you can carry something back that you did not come with you can carry a grace that while you were in the car coming, it was not yet in your life. And your results will show what has been introduced in your life. Are we together? Please rise up, lift up your voice in one minute. And declare, Lord, I believe. I believe. I'm a believer tonight. Everywhere, outside, inside. Pray. Diligent is the rewarder, the healer, the lifter. I want to pray. Please listen. Listen. Please don't get used to the ritual of what is done here. It is not just a ritual to pray, have people fall under the anointing. Be sensitive to what God is doing everywhere. But be sensitive to what he is doing in you, around you. Be sensitive to the graces you are receiving. Be sensitive to the prophecy that is coming upon you. Be sensitive to the things that are changing. Be sensitive to the mantles that are resting upon you. Be sensitive to what is happening. Be sensitive to the speakings of the Spirit. So I, I don't want you to get used to the, the, the ritual. Oh, you're about to see people in front. No, 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 no. Let your heart be open. There is a God in heaven. And he's the lifter of men. Please hear me. You are a visitor here coming. You are welcome. We'll acknowledge you later on. But please, insist that you did not waste your time to come for nothing. Please, I know you have heard. And I know you came for an experience. Many of us have inconvenienced ourselves 
not under the best of conditions to be here. Please don't waste your stay. Let your heart be open to carry something tangible. Hallelujah. Satan is behind many predicaments of our lives. Satan is behind many of the ills that continue to happen. Please let me have your attention because I want to pray now. And the power of God, listen please. As I begin to pray, there are people here. You see, God may not necessarily, don't worry, it's okay. Excuse me, that's all right. Leave these things, please. There are people here who are sincere people, even believers. But your life and destiny is under the strange influence of the operation of darkness. The Bible says many things happen in Mount Zion. And one of it is that where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Please, I like you to believe this is no ordinary prayer. Remember, it is the Spirit and the Bride that is talking. You are only seeing the Bride, but it's the Spirit and the Bride. I'm about to pray, and I want you to please believe. Because everything that does not represent Christ must go today, now. A few weeks ago, I had an encounter. And the Holy Spirit told me, you are about to experience a new lifting in your authority in the spirit. Listen, please. This is the first time I'll be sharing it. And I saw, every time I see it, this is what I see. I see like a badge in the spirit, a promotion. And the, the Lord said, I will put power upon your lips in another dimension that as you declare, you will see it happen. It's, this thing is a grace. It's a grace. It is not every time a man declares with power. There are times that you declare with authority. It's an office. Let me pray. Thank you, Jesus. There is a very serious deliverance that is about to happen. And please, I want you to bring the people in front. I'm seeing yokes. I'm telling you, I'm seeing real bondages. God has anointed this place to be a place of liberty. Right now, I declare by the Spirit of the Christ. And I decree and declare that in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, I want you to shout that name that is above every other name. And except God is not God, any planting that is not of the Christ over your life and your destiny, I speak by the grace of God Almighty that he must let you go. Now, one, two, three, shout Jesus. Bring them out. Bring them out. In the name of Jesus, I command devils, I command spirits, yokes that have tied down the destinies of men be gone now by the spirit of the Christ. The Bible says now the Lord is that spirit. Go now. Release every destiny. 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 I decree and declare the Bible says even the captives, the lawful captives shall be delivered. Therefore I declare that every legal access upon which the devil is holding on to anyone's destiny right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be delivered now.
be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now be delivered now I command closed doors be open. Closed doors be open. Right now, be open. Closed by the hand of darkness. I declare be open. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh yeah yeah oh yeah yeah Yahweh hey. Is showing me chains over people's heads. I decree and declare anyone here under any kind of yoke at the count of three, inside, outside, online. I want you to shout that name again. It's not a ritual done out of unbelief. There is force and power in the name. One, two, three. Every orchestration. Go now. Be loose now. Be loose now. In the name of Jesus, be loose. By the authority of Jesus. By the authority of Jesus. By the authority of Jesus. The Lord is showing me people who have been at the same level for many years. There is nothing you do in time that moves you forward. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing fire just rising from my limbs. I'm about to pray that prayer. Anyone who has been kept at the same position, right now by the anointing of the Spirit, I declare that limitation broken now. Broken now. Help them. Broken now. Broken now. Broken now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Right away, I want to pray against barrenness. I'm sensing the grace. Don't wait till you are married. If there is anyone here by the Spirit of God, by whatever means, your womb has been closed by the authority of heaven. I declare right now, I'm seeing the anointing coming on a number of people, married or unmarried. Let that womb be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I tell you, the anointing of God is coming on people. Whether you are married or not, some of you are standing in for your loved ones. I declare again, womb be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. I command every devil. Ah, I'm seeing such. I'm still seeing people's feet tied. Like a chain around the feet of people. Right now I decree and declare. Every chain. Makatoska barakata holding anyone now in the name of Jesus I break those chains now 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 hallelujah if you have any abdominal pain lay your hands right now lay your hands just on your stomach any kind of abdominal pain doesn't matter whether it's a fibroid doesn't matter whatever just lay your hands here right now 
name that is above all names I decree and declare right now the anointing of the Holy Ghost is coming upon your stomach area and in the name of Jesus let there be a miracle right now let there be a miracle right now I'm seeing a number in the realm of the spirit 21 and the Lord is saying an anointing is coming on those people and that grace is for direction you are at a point in your life where you are confused you honestly don't know what to do but right now I stretch my hands 21 I see it in the realm of the spirit right now let the anointing of the spirit bring in direction ending confusion receive that grace right now receive that grace right now Receive that grace right now. Direction, direction, direction in ministry, direction in business, direction, geographic direction. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I want to pray for speed. I'm going to continue praying for speed until I see it manifest. Now, please hear me. Because of what happens when I pray for speed, the ushers are limited. Make sure that you protect anyone because people will start running up and down. That grace for speed must find expression. I will continue to pray it until you leave your current level. I stretch my hands by the privilege of God's grace and I declare... I don't know what has caused delay, but the mantle that commands speed right now at the count of three. Koinonia, hear me. One, two, three. Receive speed. 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 In your destiny. Speed. Do in one month what one year could not do. Do in one month what five years could not do. Do in one month in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We're trying to conserve time. There is a lot to do. Who is Janet? I'm hearing a name, Janet. 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 All those who are in front under the anointing here, I command the devils that have oppressed you. This is the house of God. Right now at the count of three, release them. Release everything you have tied down. One, two, three, go. Go now. Every strange spirit. Go now. Go now. Now the Lord is that spirit. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Janet. I'm hearing a name, Janet. Hold on. Please don't, don't be rowdy. Just relax. Stand up, my dear. That lady on green, stand up. Where are you coming from? Huh? You are from Kaduna State. Relax, calm down. I want to pray for you. Listen, God is not just calling names at random. I want to pray for you. You can expect that there will be so many genets. The power of God is coming on one of you right now. One of you, as I'm, I'm seeing an anointing coming on one of you right now. It's, it's not something you can stand. The power of God... We're going to have to do a quick work because we want to take out time and minister to the sick. In the name that is above all names, I decree and declare. There's one of you, the anointing of the Spirit. Let's just walk that instruction first. In the name of Jesus, I decree and declare on all of you. I may not have time to prophesy one by one, but every barrier that stands between you and the next level, I declare, let it go now. I curse it by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God is coming on a lady just where this, my brothers, are standing. Bring that person. 
just this row. I'm seeing a cloud just right here. Right now as I'm speaking, the anointing of the Spirit is coming on one person there. Please bring the person. It's a lady. Bring her. Janet, I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Hi. This is an instruction God is giving me. There is a family. I'm seeing the family. It's a whole pattern. Nobody marries. No matter what happens. I'm about to pray. The power of God is coming on that one person for the sake of the family. Please, I want you to believe and receive. I declare that marital delay. This is the instruction God is giving me. Break now. Break now. Break now. Break now. The Lord is opening my eyes. And in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing the map of Benway State. An anointing is coming right now on Benway. God is bringing a miracle. I release my, I stretch my hands and I declare a miracle right now. It's a sign and a wonder how God does it. Benway State. Benway State. Benway State. I curse the workings of darkness over that territory. In the name of Jesus. Be free in the name of Jesus. The Lord is taking me to a neighboring state. I'm literally seeing myself in Kogi state. And the Lord is saying he's breaking witchcraft. I don't know who are those who are from there. But I stretch my hands. Kogi state. May that anointing come upon anyone associated with that territory that is under the yoke of bondage. Be free now. Be free now. Kogi state. Be free now. Be free now. God does these things that men will fear him. My sister, look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Something is leaving you. This is what I'm seeing. For you and for your family members. Let that devil never return to you again. In the name of Jesus Christ. We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. Our hope is Yahweh. Yahweh. I'm hearing a name, Agnes. Prophecy takes a lot of time. So we'll just minimize it so that I'm hearing the name Agnes. 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 I'm hearing that name. Please very quickly because I want to take out time and... God is visiting three families at Overflow 2. Overflow 2. The overflow by the roadside. I just saw an anointing. Just like fire. Three families. Three families. By the spirit of the living God. Agnes. Who is Agnes? You are Agnes. You are Agnes. Your sister. No, you are not here for your sister. You are here for yourself. Come. Hey. Hold my hands. 
in the name of Jesus Christ, this spirit must let you go. There is a very violent spirit that, that is attempting to take advantage of this lady's life. I declare now by the spirit of God, the covenant and the ordinance that authorizes you in the life of this lady comes under judgment now. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit that violent devil must let you go now even by the spirit of the there is no hiding place in the name of Jesus there is no hiding place for the unfruitful works of darkness I curse you by the God of heaven and I declare you must let her go alongside everything you have planted in her life in the name of Jesus Christ just hold that there I'm going to hold your hand. It's a strange mystery. I'm going to hold your hand, but the person who will fall is on this rope. Bring the person for me. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare, just don't worry, leave the baby. The person who will fall is not this lady. It's on this rope, like this, this rope right to the back. In the mighty name of Jesus, I declare by the Spirit of the living God, that everything that does not name the name of Christ right now I command it must go in the name of Jesus Christ it must go by the grace of God I set you free my dear in the name of Jesus let me pray for you father there is please don't be embarrassed we may not prophesy to everyone but there is a woman here don't be embarrassed you just had a miscarriage usually i would not ask you to come but the lord is asking to come out who is that person please There is a Yoruba family that is under a very strange attack. Under a strange attack. I'm praying right now. I don't know where they are, but I'm going to pray for you by the Spirit. Please don't confuse the cases so that I can minister to them. In the name of Jesus, I pray for that family. It's a Yoruba family from Kwara State. Yoruba family from Kwara State. I'm seeing it by the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. That family is here or anyone who represents that family I declare freedom right now by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus I pray for you my dear that everything that is not the planting of the Lord the hand of God is upon you and the Lord is saying in the seasons that come you are going to start having visitations there is a visitation that God is bringing and that visitation is preparing you for where he is taking you to and the Lord is saying that you'll be faithful. In the name of Jesus, I declare it so, even by the power of the Holy Spirit, that you step into that level and that dimension. You are the woman with the miscarriage. You are married. Please don't feel, I hope you are not embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed, huh? Because that's the same way you will come here and testify. Listen, God is not going to embarrass you for nothing. Are we together? Listen, let me tell you this. This is one big family and we're intelligent people. We will never come and just embarrass someone like that. If there's anything that looks embarrassing, just know that these things um, are spiritual. My dear, that young lady, go in. Come, lift your hands. God is not done with you yet. Huh? This is, this is, you would have left this girl now. She would have probably just gone like that. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ, I declare take what you put in her dream life let it live now take what you put inside her through the dream miscarriage please come please don't feel embarrassed this is a family did I pray for you did I pray for you it's alright I prayed for you just go back my dear put your hand on your stomach in the name of Jesus I agree with you by the power of the Holy Spirit 
go and return with your child according to the time of life. No more miscarriage whatsoever. In the name of Jesus, you will return with child according to the time of life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, please place your hand. In the name of Jesus, return with child. Return with child. In the name of Jesus. There is someone here, you are in ministry. I've not done the impartation yet, but I'm seeing an anointing come on you. And this is for your ministry. There is a level of expansion that you have been praying for. And God is about to answer that prayer. I stretch my hands. I don't know where that person is. But in the name that is above all names, may that anointing, like a mighty rushing wind, in the name of Jesus. There's someone here, God, this night, is giving you a ministry to teenagers. An anointing is coming on you. Your ministry will be to teenagers. I don't know where that person is, but Lord, I stretch my hands. Right now, may that man to find the person. In the name of Jesus, I birth that ministry by the Spirit. I birth that ministry by the hand of God. Inside here, outside, I declare, in the name of Jesus, let there be a birthing. I draw from the bowels of prophecy and I declare that ministry is better tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Your sister and you, why is she here? Miscarriage? Are you married? You're sure? In the name of Jesus, place your hand there. I agree with you. Every plague of miscarriage goes now. In the name of Jesus Christ, according to the time of life, return with your child. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your sister, where is she? Abuja, tell her that she was prayed for and she should expect a miracle. In the name of Jesus, I declare. You're standing in for her, but I declare the power of God is upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. There are four people who are receiving the mantle for prayer and intercession. Now, I know that it's, it's, a, it's a grace we will all desire, but there are four exact people. Four exact people, some inside, some outside. Lord, I don't know where they are, but that grace, a dimension of the intercessory ministry, capacity to travail by the Spirit, In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why is she here? Come. Where are you from? Kaduna. How long have you been married? Last year. Last year. Madam, you came out here for miscarriage, but what God is dealing with is more than miscarriage, huh? We'll pray for you. Where's your husband? Here, sir. Because I'm seeing him here. Is he here? Yes, sir. Where is he? Husband, please come. Is the man here? How are you, my friend? Stand up. God is about to change your life. I don't know you. What do you do, sir? Where? I'm up in Kaduna. Sir. Kaduna, yes, I want to pray for you. Where are you from? I'm from Ojibwe. There is a grace. Please hear me. What? What? Where do you work? I work with the Alliance of Africa. There are two things I'm seeing. One, I'm seeing real estate. Number two, I'm seeing distribution. Distribution of things. Go and write them down and pray over them. This is where your money is. This is where the grace of God. If you hear what I'm telling you. You see, sometimes God will not violate your will. You can choose to do anything you do. But because of the openness of your heart, he will give you direction. The Lord is my shepherd, he says. I shall not want. 
So when God directs you, he will take away want and lack from you. And that's why I said this is more than just the issue of barrenness or whatever it is. Huh? We'll pray for you. And madam, I want to stop the dreams. Dreams. Huh? I have to pray for you. Sometimes you don't share them. But there are dreams that are oppressions. A lot of oppressions. I want to pray for you. This will end in your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, this is July, August, September. By October, write it down. Your life will change. Do you know what just entered you? You didn't just fall under the anointing. You see, my, my brother, the realm of the spirit, what is on you is what controls what is around you. Don't worry, I'm going to pray for you. It's the grace for favor that came on you. Amen. And I declare and I prophesy over you by the Spirit of God. These three months, may your life change in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Madam, put your hand in your, on your stomach. According to the time of life, huh? in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm seeing something like a rope being loosed from your stomach. This is what I'm seeing. In the name of Jesus. Listen, you will come with your wife and stand here. Look at their faces and remember them. So that the day they come and stand, it's, it's not to glorify a man. It is to show that God, oh, God is still alive. Huh? I lose this in the name of Jesus. And I pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. You will return with a strange miracle. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Sir, can I talk to you please? This man. Yes, sir. Where are you coming from, sir? Kaduna. Kaduna. I don't know you. Is it alright if I pray for you? I want to pray for you. Three things. Number one, I want to pray that sickness will not take you to the grave. Amen. I'm not a prophet of doom. This is our, our prophet. I want to pray for you. That's number one. Number two, I want to pray for you that everything that is yours that has not been released, let it come to you. Does it make sense what I'm telling yes, you? Sir. Yes, sir. I will pray for you. This is one of the reasons why you are here. I want to pray. It will surprise you the way God will release all kinds of financial blessings to come to you. And then number three, there is a man from Lagos that God is going to connect you with. God is going to use that man to turn your life around. I don't know what you do, but please, I want you to mark this. But the most important prophecy is sickness. I want to pray for you because I'm seeing that this thing is an attack. It will start one morning. You just stand up and they will say you are behaving as if you are talking to yourself and you are having memory loss. It's of the devil we must pray. Madam, come. God is about to change your life. Because you are praying and you are saying God should tell me to speak to you. Is that true? Yes, sir. Stand here. I'm, I'm standing here and I'm hearing your prayer. Yes. And you are saying the Lord should, that should visit yes, you, that you did not come from far for yes, nothing. Sir. Where did you come from? Come. Where are the other two people? We look to Yahweh. Yahweh. I congratulate you in the name of Jesus because your life will change in a very remarkable way. Madam, I want to pray for you. Look at me. Stand up, my friend. Why by the life here? Who is sick? Madam, I want to pray for you. Yes, sir. 
you see, ba, when prophecy is used well, I'm seeing this woman, your right breast. Huh? If I don't pray for you, <laughs> you're going to start having what looks like a growth. <laughs> and it will later become cancer. Because oh, I'm looking at this woman. Jesus. No, don't worry, madam. I'm, don't be afraid. I'm looking at this woman on the bed and just whine. And they say, what is this? What happened to this woman? Jesus. Madam, you did not leave Adamawa State to come here to waste your time. Yes, no. Sir. I vowed a vow and prayed a prayer that never should there be a time when I will have the opportunity to minister. And the people say, oh, it was just like before. Never, 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 never. That everyone encounter will leave a deposit of God in your life. Hallelujah. Sir, I want to pray for you. He's, where is he coming from? Adam Awatu. I need to pray. There is bad luck in your life. Come, you are a very nice man, but please stand up. Please stand up. I, don't cry. Oh, yeah. oh dear. You see, but let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, sometimes people are carrying pain. Oh. You just see people laugh and praise the Lord. That, that is a dance of faith. It's just a, a joy of faith because I'm looking at this man. You will not believe what this man has gone through. Is that true? What do you do, sir? I'm a launderer. Washing with his hand. Yes. This is what I'm saying. This man, Kai, oh dear. This man is supposed to be connected to a politician in Adamawa State. This is this man's destiny based on what the Lord is showing me. His name is Zakaria. His name is Zakaria. Yes, he's presenting. This is what I'm telling you. Just listen. Let me prophesy to you. I'm seeing that this man's destiny is supposed to be with a member. And yet he's doing... Now, I'm not saying laundry is an insult. But the way he's doing it, this is not a blessing. Um, I don't know what happened. We had a good relationship. And just of a sudden... He changed. He changed. No, he did not change. Somebody told him huh, that they can use you to kill him. And that he has, it's not only you. I'm not a pro, don't go around fighting anybody. Huh? That this man one day will kill him. They were saying, Honorable Kayankali, be careful. Don't allow people to just come around you like that who already know you. Because the enemy within is outside. That's why he lost relationship with you and cut everything away. You see, let me tell you, my brothers and my sisters, God reveals this thing to tell you this world we live in is not a playground. If you don't sustain spiritual intelligence, look at how may your enemies not get to the gates before you. That the counsel of Ahitophel can turn a man's destiny. And this man, it's not that he's using a laundry to wash him clothes like, a, like an animal. Sir, you have come here for God to change your life. And I'm praying for you by the God of heaven, the one who put this miracle service together. Let things change now. By the power of the Holy Ghost, I declare favor upon your life. Let things turn around. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mama, what do you want God to do for you? English, how sir, speak anyone. <laughs> the bad visitation in every area of my family. I will pray for I you. I want male children. <laughs> oh, healing. You have female children. I have two. And you want I a male. Allergies. Yes, I need male children. That's what, uh, there's a reason why I shifted the mic. I don't want you to say what you're about to say loud, huh? Because one day your husband will be changed and he will hear this, this miracle service message. It's true. I want to pray for you. You see, please let me advise us. It's God that gives children. And, and I don't mean to insult anyone, but please, let's be careful. This issue of give me male children, give me female children, Otherwise, you are not this. I mean, it's even better to come to a man of God to pray for you than to antagonize your wife or husband. There is a culture of the kingdom. Listen, when we get born again, the values 
the value system of the kingdom, the spirit life must be at work in us. In as much as I know sincerely that it is beneficial to have children male and female. When our people are getting married, I pray for them that God will give them children male and female. But you cannot antagonize your wife or your husband and say, give me um, male children, female children. Of course, I understand I'm, I'm an African because of issues of inheritance and other things, but we have to be careful. Whatever God has not given you, you cannot have it. And if you go to the devil to have it, let me tell you, the consequence will be waiting for you. Are we together? Madam, look at me. Do you believe if I pray for you, yes, sir. you will come here with a male child? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I do. I, I, I do intend not to. Madam, what did you see me doing for you in a dream? Sir, it's upon my life. You say it is done. Listen, number one, number one, yes, God is bringing favor to your life. Yes. Number two, you will stand on this very altar with a male yes. child. I want you to believe it. Yes. You believe that? Yes. Hold my hands. Father, please turn the life of this woman in the name of Jesus. Let it please you to open her womb and give her a male child. And we agree, we receive that your husband is born again and he's walking in the ways of God. In the name of Jesus. Madam, the Lord is going to connect you with some, a woman from Maiduguri. Where are you from? I'm from Adama. We have shared this. My okay. Sister. I'm going to pray for you. A, a woman, she does textile and clothing. Kaya cloth. This woman will bless you in a way that it will look like it's a charm. Yeah. Believe what I'm telling you. Father, I decree and declare, surprise these people by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. I bless you. God changes your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Mama, that mama with blue, come. Who came from Kano? From where? Air Force Base. This is your husband. What do you want God to do for him? Don't cry. You know, I preached a message here and I said, God can do it, Abby, madam. Mm. Since 2005, no child. No message again. Everything has gone. Madam, stand up. Please, if you are in ministry here, hear me. Reduce your public life. Go back to the secret place and get real power. Genuine grace. Genuine grace. Genuine grace. Let me repeat it, please. If you are in ministry, I say this, please. Reduce public life. Watching football. Going for marriages that you don't have any business. I'm not saying you should not honor people. But the times that we are living in now, the problems on people, is not just sermons. People are in real trouble. We must trust God for grace to stay in the spirit until you get something genuine that can solve people's problems. 2005, how many years is that? 14 years, no child, her period ceased completely, the devil sat on it. Let me see how you will have a child. Madam, don't cry, it's okay. I don't know you, I've never seen you. You can see, how will you be sitting there and then God will just call you. I want to pray for you. Madam, please hear me. I'm saying it in the open. I didn't say it in your ears. I want you to go and prepare. Huh? I'm seeing where is your husband? Anybody who wants to come and destroy your family by giving you something to drink, eh? In the name of Temeko, I I I banish them far. You hear what I'm saying? 
because I'm seeing a man, I'm not, please, I love the body of Christ, but I'm seeing someone come supposedly a prophet, but what this man is doing is not prophecy. Are you getting what I'm saying now? What now? I'm, I'm the only one. Six here. months. Yes. He has gone away. He, he just, I, I went to his office to tell him that I'm coming to Zaria today. So he now said, uh, he, he just looked at me. You are not divorced, <laughs> but he has just gone. Sir? He, he just went, but you are not divorced. Uh, he's saying uh, where, they are, where they are drinking this thing, so he just left me. He may not, don't, don't be too quick to judge the man. See, let me tell you this. You see, Ba, when people go through things, be careful. When you are about to cross people and call them evil and call them this, remember that stability is according to the measure of your understanding of who God is. And there are times that even the strong get pushed to the wall. So don't be too quick. We are people of love. Don't come here and start thinking and saying, especially if you know the woman and think the husband is this, mm -mm. We are not here to show who is right or who is wrong. We are here to show that there is a God in heaven. Are we together? Madam, hold my hands. I command this spirit in the name that is above all names to release your womb in the name of Jesus. Madam, I speak to you. First, may God reconcile you back to your husband. Second, you will take in according to the time of life. Your baby will stay and you will return back to the child. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, every orchestration that is not of God to keep you barren and to destroy your marriage, I curse it now in Jesus' name. See, anyone here, I'm, I'm praying for the ladies now, then we'll pray for the sick. We have to be fast. But no, you don't have to come out. But you are here the moment you start a relationship with a guy. He becomes serious and just when he's deciding to do anything marriage it must scatter you continue to enter relationships relationships re loving and unloving loving and unloving today you are in love tomorrow nonsense manufactures itself I'm praying right now by the anointing of the Holy Spirit because it's a yoke that must be destroyed I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit inside and outside anyone who is under that category by the God of heaven let the power of God come on you now to end that captivity let the power of God come on you now to end that captivity you see please give this woman her photo that woman under the anointing we have to pray um, the Lord is asking me, we are praying. I, I hope I'm not boring you. I'm not wasting your time. The Lord is showing me a family here. I may not ask you to come out. But in this family, you never settle maritally, but you will have children. No matter how you go around it, you find out that you have children out of marriage. out of And, and it's not like the men will be there to take responsibility and take care of the children. The Lord wants to deliver that family right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ah. Please come out. Please come out. But I'm going to pray. Whether you know it or not. You see, the thing about the anointing, I told you. Sometimes God locates people distinctly just to talk to them, to encourage and build their faith. But it doesn't matter where you are. I want to pray now that, that you cannot get married happily with a ring and settle down and have children. But the devil will manipulate that you will continue to have children. I pray right now. I don't know where they are. But in the name of Jesus Christ. We declare that that yoke is destroyed now. We declare that that yoke is destroyed now. That yoke is destroyed now. My dear, look at me. Come. 
It's your season of laughter. The Lord is saying, I should tell you. You see, let me tell you. For all the pain that you've gone through, I want you to hear me. God himself is turning your life around. Because let me remind you, even as he has reminded you that it pays to serve Jesus. Sometimes you will look foolish while you are doing it. Let me encourage someone here. It pays to serve Jesus. It may not look like he will come every day, but the day he comes, he will come with dignity and honor and lift you in a way that whoever has laughed at you will have to bend their head in shame. I'm praying for you. Hold my hands. Father, in Jesus' name, confirm your word. You have said that it's a season of laughter. I call it so and I declare that everything that stands as a blockage to your joy and laughter leaves your way now. In the name of Jesus, I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, someone will run out under the anointing. Hold the person and bring the person out. That will be the last prophecy. The power of God is coming on someone. It's not something you can control. By the anointing, you will find yourself rushing out by the Spirit. Please, when that happens, bring the person. I need to speak to the person and then we'll pray for the sick right now. It's a very strange anointing and you will find yourself rushing out by the Spirit. Meanwhile, let this lady come. Thank you. My dear, hold my hand. Let it end now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let it end now. In the name of Jesus. I'm rebuking something you don't know anything about. But in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, it goes now over by the grace of God. There are two ladies here. Only married men look for you. A, a responsible, godly gentleman will never seem to be interested in you. But when you find a married man, sometimes with children, that's the one that will come to you. I'm praying. I know there may be many people, but these are two people in the name that is above all names. I declare right now, whatever is on you that continues to compel married men, in the name of Jesus, I curse that spirit now. I curse something is burning here. I curse that spirit now. I curse that devil now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't be embarrassed, but I see the spirit of lust on this lady. I stretch my hands. Let that devil leave you now. That a man cannot come and pass this lady quietly and successfully. There's something that must continue to draw. In the name of Jesus, by the spirit of the living God, I curse that spirit. And I declare it must let you go now. It must release you now. By the God of heaven, I declare be free from that spirit right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick. Our time is gone, but we have to do this very fast. And like I said, please, please listen. All the people who will be praying for you, I just want you to believe. Um, whether you are in overflow, one, two, three. If you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, please not standing for anybody. And aside from those who are prayed for, if you are trusting God for the fruit of the womb, then join the prayer line here. I want to pray for you myself. Just the fruit of the womb. Are we together? Now, of course, all who are here, you can come for your normal prayer. But particularly, if you, are, if you came here trusting God for the fruit of the womb, this, this fruit of the womb issue is becoming a serious issue. And we need to deal with it once and for all. Now, we're going to do this fast. All the people ministering to you will do it very, very fast and pray for you. While you are doing that, please, how many of us came with our prayer requests? For those of us who are visitors, there's still room for you. You can quickly pen down your request and wave it. Ushers will be moving around to collect PR. Please help them. And let's just make this very fast and make this snappy. But overflow one, 
um, overflow two, overflow three, and then the overflow from the building right to second equa and down. Let's call that overflow four. Okay, okay, there is, there is overflow two B, then there is overflow four. Please listen, this is overflow one, this is overflow two, there is overflow two B from this place right to the roadside, second equa down, then there's overflow four, just from the gate of overflow three, then we have overflow three in the main building, and then online. Please make your way, come out and stand according to those various overflows, there will be people there to minister to you right now. We'll do it very fast. Our time is gone. Please submit your prayer request. I'll be laying hands on all of them here right now. You can just wave them. There will be someone by your side. We apologize for those of you standing because your seats were foiled. You would soon have it back and then be back to your seat. If there are visitors, some of you who are members, clear the way for them. They can sit down temporarily, please. If you are here, you are part of us. You can allow them to sit on your seat pending when their seats will be. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please rise up on your feet. Thank you for your patience. Stretch your hands to these requests. Please, if there are still requests um, that are not here, let's have them here very quickly so that we can pray. Please understand that this is not a ritual. God really answers prayers. There is a God in heaven who is in this service. This is a prophetic representation of our pain, our expectations. There may not be time to speak to everyone. There may not be time to minister to everyone as we would want to. But then I want us to agree right now. Stretch your hands and begin to pray in the spirit. As I lay my hands upon this request, we are declaring that every request here must be turned into a testimony. Baratos calabrandege baratos kedi. Apratos zadege baratos shalekatos. Ente prata salagato brati kedi. Karusa tapradisha. Stretch your hands and believe. We are declaring God is answering prayers now. Hallelujah. I stand upon with my bare foot on this prayer request and I declare by the Spirit of God 
even as God has instructed me, I declare that every request here by the Spirit of grace, let it be turned into your testimony. That in the name that is above all names, there are, hold on please, there are people here, this is a death sentence. There are people here, this is an impossible situation. There are people here, God will, the person God will talk to is far. But I pray, what looks impossible, I bow my knees to the God of heaven, the one who honors me when I pray, and I convert every request here to a testimony this night. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living Lord, I decree and I declare by the spirit of faith that by this time next month you return here rejoicing. Please don't let the devil lie to you and say it will be as it has always been. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. Every anointing that must be released towards your direction for this prayer to be answered, we release it now. In the name of Jesus Christ. And every pattern that is not just an individual but is a pattern that is written here. As God is visiting you here, every other person connected to you whose request you have written here we command a miracle for them where they are in the name of jesus christ there are situations here that need the blood i declare by the mystery of the blood there are three that bear witness in the heavens the father the word and the spirit there are three that bear witness in the earth. The spirit, the water, and the blood. In the name of the Lord God of heaven, by the mystery of the blood of the eternal covenant, we cancel every ordinance that sponsors continuity of this request. In the name of Jesus. And the king could not sleep in the night. And he said, bring me the chronicles. And he saw there written what Mordecai did. Whoever must remember you for this request to be granted. By the God of heaven, we open the book of remembrance tonight. Any man holding what belongs to you, which is the reason why you are writing anything here. We put pressure on them to release it now. Every family here webbed in shame and reproach. It looks like there is no dignity. The speakings of God does not seem to find expression here. I agree with you tonight by the God of heaven. Please help those under the anointing. That by the power of the Holy Ghost, shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Shame and reproach ends this night. Therefore, I decree and declare that these Egyptians you have dropped here, by the God of heaven, may you see them no more forever. May you see them no more forever. The same way I stand upon this request, I command that you stand upon every challenge. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now I speak over your life. The doors that have followed you here closed. In the name of Jesus, please believe. Let your, don't be distracted. Focus on the word of God. In the name of Jesus, I command those doors be opened now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. Be open now. 
every grounded ministry here every grounded business every grounded family hear the word of the lord i command and i declare come back to life come back to life come back to life come back to life every helper assigned from god who has not yet paid attention to you and what you request i stand by the god of heaven and in the name of jesus i compel them to attend to your matters i compel them to attend to your matter i compel them to attend to your matter Everything that should have happened and has not yet happened according to the program of God you know you should have entered that level and you are not there by prophecy I push you to that level by prophecy I push you to that level listen you see let me tell you what I'm doing I'm not just speaking I'm placing something upon your life you may not see it but you leave this place and watch what happens to you then you will see things turn around let me pray for you the kind of favor that must bring acceleration to your life please receive this one in the name that is above all names may that mantle like a cloak take favor take favor carry favor Carry favor in the name of Jesus. Every area you have struggled in your life, you have done what you know to do. In the name of Jesus, I declare that that struggle comes to end now. Now please listen, the anointing your destiny needs for this season, please listen, every season has a grace requirement, every season, there are doors that don't just open because you stand in front of them, yesterday's anointing will not move you to tomorrow's place, I pray for you, this is an impartation, wherever you are, I declare like the dew of heaven, the kind of grace you must carry for this season, let it land on your destiny now. By this anointing, I forbid you from being ignored. In the name of Jesus Christ, I forbid you from being ignored. I forbid you from being trivialized. No man will look down on you. They came to Jesus and said rabbi we know that thou art a man sent from God for no man can do these things except God be with him the things that must be done through your hands in this season for it to be said this is the Lord's doing as you are lifting your hands may a fresh unction from heaven come upon those hands for exploits Anyone in ministry here, I declare over you, go back to your various assemblies and platforms. Let there be fire on your altar. Fire on your altar. Fire on the ministration. Let the gifts of the Spirit work powerfully. In the name of Jesus. We're rounding up. Let's pray over our finances. This issue of finance is bringing many people to their knees, bringing many families to their knees, distracting people. The time we should spend on the things of the kingdom, we are focusing on money, what to eat, what to wear, house rent, building projects. It is not the will of God.
in the name of Jesus Christ Ebenezer the helper of men I declare this month even beginning from today receive strange financial help receive strange financial help in the name of Jesus I prophesy to you strange financial help everyone under the sound of my voice trusting God for an honorable job listen there are jobs that don't have honor they are time wasters they are devourers I pray for you the kind of job that represents dignity that will honor you and help you to build your home well may the God of heaven give you such a job let me pray for your spiritual life if you have cars you have houses and your spiritual life is not on fire you are not doing well the first index to measure prosperity in the kingdom is the health of your spiritual life that your prayer life fire word life fire fellowship with the spirit fire no room for up today down tomorrow i pray for you fresh fire upon your prayer life Fresh fire upon your prayer life. Fresh fire upon your prayer life. Fresh fire upon your prayer life. Every lukewarmness, slumber, gluttony, these spirits that destroy your spiritual fervency, I declare in the name of Jesus, receive victory over them. The grace that can keep a man in the presence of God the, the staying power that you can stay with the world stay in prayer not rush in and rush out and one power, God is not a magician I pray for you the unction to stay receive it in the name of Jesus every dimension in the spirit that is supposed to have been activated. There are some of you now, listen, there are levels of graces you should have left. Sincerely, there are dimensions of power. There are haziness, certain dimensions of haziness in your spiritual perception. There is a level of authority. There is an office you should be sitting on now, but it's not yet there. I pray for you. The mantle that will shift you to that level. May that grace come upon you now. The mantle that will shift you to that level. May that grace come upon you now. Listen. Everything in your life that has refused to grow. God gave you a ministry that has refused to grow. No membership, nobody is placing a demand on your grace. God gave you a business, it has refused to grow. No increase, no impact. Anything that is alive grows. Whatever has stopped growth in your life, I bring that thing to an end now. Finally, let me pray, please. The spirit of infirmity. I told you that this is, this is, I came to pray and rebuke that spirit. Because that spirit like the angel of death is moving over families. Attacking children. Attacking all kinds of people. Headache will just kill a man for nothing. Kata. And they will say it's cancer. Pain around your breast. They will say you have a malignant a tumor see let me tell you whatever you don't fight to victory will remain in your life challenges are not the issue but that you stand and fight the good fight of faith until you see what God said if you have not seen what God said don't stop I pray for you the spirit of a warrior the grace that will cause you to refuse to allow things that are not the will of God. May that grace rest upon you now.
As a body of believers, we agree that the spirit of infirmity first over this family, number two over this territory, and number three over the body of Christ. Thou spirit of infirmity, we banish your operation now. Thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day, nor the noisome pestilence, the destruction that wasted at noonday, the spirit of death. If there is anyone here that death is looming around the corridors of your life, or your loved ones, or those connected to you spiritually and by bloodline, I declare, let death lose its grip over you now. Receive the last prayer that I pray for you to end this miracle service. And Jabez was more honorable than his brethren. Please listen. Honor is a real grace. You can do everything to bring honor and yet honor will not come. Honor is not about you usurping authority over people. There is a real grace. Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness. Therefore God, even thy God has anointed you with an oil of gladness that sets you above your fellows. I pray for you. The kind of honor that needs to distinguish you for the sake of the kingdom in this season. May that grace and may that honor rest upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wave your hands everywhere and give Jesus praise. Mighty God. Wave your hands and give Jesus praise. Father, we thank you. By the wave offering we receive, we receive in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Please drop your hands. Please let me say this. Let there be no movement till we are done. Every time we are almost done, many of you cancel out everything God has done through disobedience. Just give me two minutes and then we must leave. There are people here who are yet to truly surrender their life. Please keep standing. We believe in soul winning. And in reality, we believe that it is the greatest miracle. There are people here who came to this place confused, looking for Jesus sincerely. Religion refused to give you. Sometimes we men of God disappointed you but you are still looking for Jesus. And there are others who are saying, Apostle, I love Jesus, but the way my life is right now, I need help. Now, whatever, whether you are inside, outside, we have two minutes for you. Please, win that war this night. Don't sit down dilly-dally. You know that you need Jesus. Wherever you are, inside, outside, I don't want you to be ashamed. Aside from overflow 3, overflow 2B, and overflow floor, you can just move to your various projector screens. But you are here. Quickly, I'd like you to run like there's fire on the mountain and stand here right now. Quickly. I don't expect you to be thinking about it. Keep standing. It's something you should know. Keep coming. Run to Jesus. Don't let any friend hold your hand. And say, don't embarrass yourself. Don't let any relative keep you bound. Our time is gone, but your salvation is important. Keep coming. Keep coming. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm ashamed. Win that war and come. Apostle, I want to come, but I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. If you are not sure, make your way and come quickly. Apostle, I'm a leader in my fellowship. Join them quickly. We have one more minute, please. Those coming from outside, quickly. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. 
Those online following from whatever nation, doesn't matter. Once you are following and you can hear my voice, listen to me, please. Believers, listen. It is important that we never lose out on soul winning. Let me say this. It is not just an evangelical agenda. It is not an orthodox agenda. It is not a man of God agenda. It is the only way men come to this kingdom. No matter what we do, please, you're a man of God here, hear me. Don't be careless over soul winning. It is important that people be given an opportunity, except you don't know what salvation is. If you really understand what the new birth is, you will desire even your enemy to be saved. It is the only gateway. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave. Salvation is a giver's gift to you. You receive it. I salute all of you who have come here. Some of you are standing here rededicating your lives. Some of you are not even sure what you are doing, honestly. Some of you are here genuinely for the first time. It doesn't matter. You see, the thing about the love of God is that the moment you call on his mercy, he will act as though he's not seeing what is wrong with you again. The mercy of God is powerful. Religion is what drives people away from God. Lift your right hand. Those around the various overflows, join them. Please say after me, sincerely, Jesus is in this place. You are not reciting a poem. This is from the depth of your heart. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe in you that you are the Son of God. This night, I receive Jesus as my Savior, my Lord, and my King. I declare that according to Scripture, I receive the abundance of grace and the gift of righteousness. And I declare that I'm not only heaven bound, but I reign in life. I receive of the Holy Spirit from today. I declare and forever that I'm a child of God. Amen. I declare over you by the authority of scripture that your sins are forgiven the Lord himself is granting you a new beginning. I pray that you will know the ministry of the Holy Spirit in a new and a fresh way. I pray for you that you will know the anointing in a mighty way. For many of you who are standing here, may God use you to become mighty men and women of God. In the name of Jesus, I bless you with hunger for spiritual things. I bless you with passion for the house of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. A big congratulations. Now, please, I want all of you alongside um, those at the various overflows. There should be someone waving his or her hands. Please, I'd like you to follow them very quickly. And there will be a group of people who will address you. Let's do that very quickly. Let's do that quickly. Quickly, quickly, quickly. Hallelujah. Now, our time is gone, but... Um, Please listen, we're about to take the announcements. Welcome the first timers and we're done. I sincerely apologize. Pray for us by God's grace. I know that God will grant us the grace. We'll soon have our place and we'll reschedule our services to allow us finish on time. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Um, I, I, know I welcome everybody. We're going to welcome the first timers now. But particularly, I just want to honor a few people first. I want to bless our precious people, the delegates from um, the King's Court and the Oasis. God bless you. <laughs> Hallelujah. The redeemed Christian Church of God, that's, um, that's the church that Nathaniel Bassi pastors. God bless you. Thank you. There are a group of people here, adorable people. These people take, they take care of me so much every time we have a meeting around their place and um, we love you. Thank you. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your kindness. I want us to honor the pastor from Ukraine. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you very much. And um, now I know there are so many people. Please don't find offense. It's by no way belittling you. Every We believe the law of honor is one of our foundational um, values, our pillars here. I just felt I am indebted to some of the people that are connected to these ones. And so I just wanted to 
to do that honor. And I think, I hope I'm right. Yes, it should be him. Um, I saw Elisha Maman somewhere. He just quizzed himself. That's him. May God bless you. Very humble and very great man. I love you. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Every other person who has come here, especially for those of you who came from so very far, um, aside from those that I called, within a few minutes I will request that you come um, and stand here so that we will honor you. We believe in honor. And I know that in many churches they have different ways of receiving people, but we don't fake things and we don't pretend things here. When we call you out to honor you, we really mean it. It's not some Christian stage managed acting, no. Genuinely, sincerely. So wherever you are, aside from the extreme overflows, I would request that you just move to the front of your projector stand. But for those of us who are here, overflow one, overflow two, please gallantly walk and come right here. If this is your first time worshiping with us, we want to honor you. You're that important and we love you. Koinonia, is this the best you can do? Hallelujah. Please stand. Hallelujah. Thank you very much. Let them come while I talk because of time. Keep coming. Let me tell you this. You see, it's all right. Praise God. Just listen to me while they come. It's a lesson that I want to teach all of us. Please learn this. Never take men for granted. When when God honors you, please hear me, pastors. I tell you why we stop getting members in our churches. Because we get to points where we believe we are too big to honor the people. In other words, they don't mean anything. I always thank God and appreciate every one person who takes the pain to come here. Thank God for the wonderful things that he's doing. But remember that nobody is obliged anywhere to honor you and to promote what you represent. And when you find a people who can make such investments, value them. Are we together? Whether you're a pastor, whether you're a businessman, this world is the world of men. Place honor on men. He says, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Influence is your blessing when you honor men. Thank you so much, every one of you. I wish I had the time to really walk to you one by one and hug every one of you. And I mean it from the depth of my heart. But on behalf of Jesus Christ himself, the apostle of the church, I welcome you to Koinonia in the name of Jesus. Many of you have heard about the wonderful things that God is doing here. Many of you have partaken of the same. And it's my joy to truly welcome you. You have come from far within and outside this nation. Um, I'm sure that there are people here that cut across all walks of life. Thank you very much. We truly appreciate you. This is our miracle service. Um, we meet here Fridays and special times on Sundays um, when there's a fixed time. But I just want you to know that I love you. We love you as a family of faith. Thank you for taking the time. And um, we want to pray for you. Truly, let me tell you this. You will not have to tell people you came here. The glory and the kind of results you will see in your life will be a testament. Amen. Let's stretch our hands to them and bless them. We love you and we are praying for you. From the depth of our hearts, we are blessing you. Blessing your ministries, blessing your businesses, blessing your career, blessing your family. We want to see the hand of God upon your life. We want to see you loving the Lord like never before. We want to see you growing in the things of God. We want to see you walking in purpose and destiny. We want to see the gates of hell stamped by and through your life. This is why we pray for you. The Lord bless you. The Lord honor you. The Lord reveal himself to you. The Lord bring you into a dimension of intimacy. The Lord... Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel, comment on it, like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny.
Tete branda kata pa gotos koto breke teke nekata The phase of development Lord grant me the discipline 